include its work, uh, but insists law enforcement agencies should do their work as well to investigate some of the allegations. He was taken on a private tour of the Freedom Park Heritage Site in Pretoria. He called on South Africans to embrace their freedom by casting their votes in this year's upcoming election. Senior Bosasa officials implicating several ministers and the former president in corruption, bribery and money laundering some of which happened under Mbeki's China as president. But despite growing calls from lobby groups, including Kasak and Alta, for the president to act, the former president says the commission should be allowed to finish its work while investigations continue. There are state organs, other state organs, who are obviously following up on what is happening at, the, at, the, at that commission. And they appear perfectly at liberty to act in terms of their own mandates, whether it's the police or whoever else. They can act on that. <clears throat> but I'm, I'm, in terms of the President of the Republic, he has to wait for a report of the Commission. The Commission must complete its work, submit its report, and he must then consider the report and decide what to do. With election campaigning expected to gain momentum in the lead up to the May polls, Beggy, however, would not be drawn on whether he would be campaigning for the ruling party. The, the Deputy Secretary General of the ANC, Jesse Duarte, has been to see me to, to discuss that. So we'll, we'll discuss it and we'll see because we need to agree what sorts of interventions are required of me um, in order to address these challenges that were raised just now. The former president also poured cold water on claims that he refused to form part of Ramaphosa's presidential council after hearing that former President Jacob Zuma would form part of it. President Ramaphosa uh, said to me that he needed to set up this uh, uh, council of elders <coughs> because he wanted to have uh, somebody, a body that he could consult. Uh, so I said, fine, so let's think about it and we'll meet again. So that's where we left it. The former president has called on South Africans to appreciate their hard-fought democracy. He says casting their votes in the upcoming elections will ensure that their democratic voices are heard. Mangwabam Kunu, SAPC News, Pretoria.